Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial, and today I'm going to teach you how to port forward on an Xfinity router, so... Yeah, so first you want to open up Chrome or whatever web browser you have. And then you want to go to the, uh, the default um, Xfinity router IP, which is 10.0.0.1. And then <coughs> you're going <coughs> to type in your admin and for your username and password for your router, for the admin tool login. Uh, by default, it's admin and password, obviously. My, uh, my password is not the same as the default one, but, uh, for this, it should just be password. And then you click login. <coughs> and then, once you're at this, uh, this addaglance.php link, you wanna go into advanced. And then it'll default to the port forwarding page, so... <coughs> you want to enable uh port forwarding obviously and then I'll be right back I'm going to set up a basic web server and then I will show you how that works Okay so I'm back and uh I made a um a little python server thing so let's open a new terminal tab Okay now I might be able to Oh okay so now that this is happening, you might, or I'll leave a link to the uh, script that hosts the server in the description. You can use a Pashi if you know what that is, but um, I'm just gonna be using my own little script thing. So if you got a local host in Chrome, yeah, this worked. Um, you're gonna wanna make like a um, test HTML page. I have a uh, tutorial up on my channel as well for that. So if you wanna learn about HTML, go to that. But um. Anyway, the default port for... Actually, I'll explain it when I get into, into this. So... Once this is finished loading. So you want to add an HTTP <coughs> um, service, and it's going to be TCP slash UDP, I think. And then uh, you want to go into connected device if your router's updated enough, and then click on your desktop, and then it'll obviously have... Uh, 80 as your start port and end port. You want to save, and then after it finishes with that, this should be up. So yeah, HTTP. HTTP so, um, <clears throat> now to find out what IP to give to people, you go to ipchicken.com, and it should be uh, this, under this black box that I have on the screen. Uh, I don't want to. Um, don't want to give my uh, my IP away, so I'm not going to. But uh, this is the IP that you give to your friends, and then they connect. They can connect to your web server. So, but you can't do it from um from your own router. So if you want uh something that I usually do is I go onto my phone, disable Wi-Fi, and then on my data uh <clears throat> I type in the IP that's shown here, and then your um it should show your web page, and if so uh. That's cool. Now, if you want to start something like a Minecraft server, um, it's the same thing, only under service, you want to put other, uh, and for the start port and end port, you want to put 25565. So, once you have that, uh, you're pretty much done. So, if you want, um, the script for hosting a server, uh, I'll have it in the description. It's a Python script. And, um, yeah, leave a like, and, uh, Hasta luego.